Yay. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I was thinking for this video, could do something a little bit different. Minecraft, I made a couple of Metal Gear Online maps. So, first of all, okay, so we put in the... <coughs> You put in the record and you play some music and you can teleport to either team. Uh, so this is starting out with a blue team and you come down the hallway. Just down here. And you get to the starting area for the red team. You probably remember this right now if you've been, if you've ever played um, Metal Gear Online or Port Flops, Ad Hog Local. I really liked it, that was like the first like one that I actually built. And uh, it was really simple. Simple design. Didn't take very long. Um Yeah, I don't really know like what any of it is because since it's like just an online map, it's just the, the way it looks. I just know there's like boxes and stuff and and I was so happy when they put it into Puddle Blocks Plus. I think it was Puddle Blocks Plus? I don't remember. So it'd be really cool though to like use this as a um, survival map so that you could like use it as like a bunker to hide zombie, uh, fight and hide away from zombies. But uh, I, I never really, I don't think I ever integrated it into a map. I might have done. I don't remember. Uh, just one more bit to go. Which should be this one. Oh no, no. Where is it? This one here. This is the staircase that leads back up that way. I even like took these from like the lights that are in there. I feel I think it feels like Mel Gear Solid. And then obviously this is the ladders that go up to the the main area. I put the NPCs on there so that if you wanted to you could actually play a game with Metal Gear Online with it. Uh, unfreeze all NPCs. And they should come out of there. Yep, I've set them on paths. The only problem is that when they shoot, the uh, pictures come off the walls. Oh yeah, these are the... Um, the NPCs are the only thing that I, I think they're the only thing that I didn't make the textures for. I got them off the internet because I just needed um, NPC skins and I didn't really put any thought into it. I, I can't remember where I got them from. <laughs> so apologies if those skins belong to you. Um, leave a comment, say it's your skin and I'll put a link in the uh, the video or like the description to where I can, where people can download it from. It was a long time ago. I found a map that everybody will recognise if you ever played Metal Gear Online or Metal Gear Online 2, which is slightly different. It is, in fact, City Under Siege. Yeah. I took these from the game as well. I like, obviously, I made them like lower resolution so as it matches Minecraft. Even got bins. Which is like one of my favourite favourite parts because like they actually move you and like you couldn't do that before. And obviously on the M uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 version, you could go along here and around the back of there. Um, but I never really liked Metal Gear Solid 4s online that much. But I always used to run up here, climb up these ladders, and then get around the side of this box, crouch, which you can't seem to do and then sniper over that direction uh, whoever was on the building and then I'd probably get spotted, hide behind here and then I'd dive down here <laughs> oh my god this pr brings back so many memories see like Lego Worlds is like really good because you can, you can create like really detailed shapes and stuff but like it doesn't have texture packs whereas like Minecraft is like you can't create very detailed shapes but there's texture packs, like I was actually able to go into the game, take a square of like wall, put it on the texture pack on Photoshop, load it into the game, and then the wall 
looks exactly the same as how it looked on Metal Gear Online. Oh, it's just... I don't know, I feel like each one has their points, but like I do really prefer how to build things in Lego worlds. And I feel like I'm better at it. But... I don't know, there's just something about running around a map that's in block form with the same colours and feel of the original map that's just so more much, yeah, so much more nostalgic than running around the Lego one. But I guess the Lego's got more atmosphere, but then again I have got like shadow mobs on here and stuff like if I did this on the, the PlayStation version, it would not be as nice. <laughs> I suppose they haven't updated Lego worlds to like be more like Minecraft yet. And I suppose they haven't upgraded this to be more like this, like what it looks like now on the PlayStation and stuff, but yeah, this was my other favourite sniping spot when I was on this team. And I remember you could play as those two girls from that, was it a wrestling game? I don't know. I never played it. But, um... No, 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 no. Mega Side Portable Ops. There is a map of Mega Side Portable Ops, which was everybody's favourite to play online. It's also the map where you fight Null, which I built. And it is called um, Silo Entrance. Otherwise known as Sunset Silo. Which I built. So if you're playing on like poor blocks, this would be like the start of the game and you'd have to sneak through here. And I remember going up these stairs. I was, obviously I put cranes and stuff in. I was going to try and build up the walls as well so you couldn't see out. But I haven't, I haven't got around to that yet. Also this, when I made this, this is when I discovered um, tools to help you actually make stuff. Um, externally from Minecraft so you could like go in and copy and paste structures which is why it was so easy to build these multiple cranes because I could just copy and paste the cranes I made this so long ago though it was like a good like few years ago I even like took the beds from um, poor blocks I feel like booting up Metal Gear Online 1 again though I wonder if anybody still plays Just, just feel like it, like, obviously like cause the sunset helps because I've managed to make an actual sunset. Um, so it kind of helps with the feel of the, the map. But I do feel like it does 
like looking at it at a glance, it does feel very Metal Gear. Shame these walls aren't thinner. But this is the silo entrance as it appeared in Paul Blops, not as it appears in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 Online. Because, obviously, as I've already said, I wasn't really a fan of Metal Gear Solid 4 Online. It's, you know, it was similar anyway. I distinctly remember having to go into here to unlock Sock Love or something on the pull box or something like that to play as. It's weird. And then that's how you get into the, um, the silo. I can't remember. Oh, I didn't even know I'd done that. Oh yeah, there's one more place there's no good down here. This is like my favourite. I used to like hide behind this box, wait for my friend to run around the corner and then I'd see you see him. And then I'd stun him and then stand above his body, saluting him. Or if it um if it was the poor block version, I'd stand above him with a sniper off around his head, watching the stars go around his head until there was one star left and just as it pinged to go after wake him up, I shot him in the head. And he used to literally be like, just like shouting at me, just being like, I hate ya, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> but it brought me so much joy <laughs> to just make him wait to die. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Yeah, it used to make me laugh because um, I, I knew it was winding him up. But obviously killing somebody and saluting them um, on proper Metal Gear Online was ultimately more funny. So yeah, this is that map. I quite like it. I feel like the walls are like too thick because um, Metal Gear Online 1 had thick walls. But by the time they had it on like poor blobs, um, they were looking like really thin walls on the maps. Uh, so these ones feel really thick, but the City Under Siege one doesn't feel... Thick. I feel like it feels it feels just right, like the right sort of size and stuff. So this one looks a little bit odd, but um, sitting on the siege map and the pillbox perimeter, I think it's called. Um, they feel fine to me. Uh, just this one just feels a bit odd. That's just what I, I wish I'd have built the walls up more. Maybe I'll have a go at building these again in Lego Worlds. But obviously about the texture packs, which is less enjoyable. And I think that's the end of the video. So thank you for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, because I will be posting more videos like this and some from Lego Worlds and possibly some from, I might do some Let's Plays of like of Metal Gear games. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you when I make another video, which hopefully will be soon, because I'm kind of bored. I've got holiday from work, so I've got time. Okay. Bye!